Now, after the historic visit to Palestine, Prime Minister Modi moved on to the second leg of his West Asia tour as he landed in UAE last evening. PM Modi will be visiting Abu Dhabi's war memorial, the Wahat al Karama, today before he heads to Dubai, where he will be addressing the Indian community at the Dubai Opera House. Now, PM Modi will be witnessing the stone link ceremony of the Hindu temple in Abu Dhabi. This will be the first Hindu temple in Abu Dhabi. The Indian Prime Minister will also deliver a keynote address at the World Government Summit in Dubai. Around 7.30 p.m. Indian Standard Time, PM Modi is expected to leave for Oman, where he will be addressing the Indian community. Prime Minister will be speaking from the Royal Box in Sultan Qaboos Stadium. Royal Box is used by Oman Sultan Qaboos only and hence PM Modi will become the first visiting dignitary who is being given honour of addressing the community from the box. Now on his second visit to the UAE, PM Modi was given a red carpet welcome at the presidential airport in Abu Dhabi. Prime Minister Modi held a one-on-one -on -one meeting with the Abu Dhabi Crown Prince, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nyanan. PM Modi was given a red carpet welcome at the presidential airport in Abu Dhabi. Prime Minister Modi had a one-on-one -on -one meeting with the Abu Dhabi Crown Prince. Now, five government-to-government -government, uh, agreements were signed between the two countries. The MOUs were related to energy sector, railways, manpower and financial service. Now, after the exchange of agreements, a banquet dinner in honour of the PM was also held in Abu Dhabi. As for what is expected today, now Prime Minister Modi will be attending the foundation stone laying ceremony for Abu Dhabi's first Hindu temple. PM Modi will also hold a meeting with the Indian community at Dubai Opera House. And this is PM Modi's second visit to the United Arab Emirates, which is home to over 3 million people of, the in, of Indian origin.